Hello everyone. Welcome to our 15th lecture on Scratch game programming tutorial. So last uh, time we started working on a maze game and we learned how to make a simple maze game. So in this lecture we want to add some more features to make the game more attractive or make it a little more challenging. So let's see what else we can do in our game. If you haven't remembered, you can always um, watch the previous videos. Um, so let's get started. So first thing, uh, if you have remembered that we, we start the game, um, we can start playing the game. You can see um, the cat is moving and if we touch the black line, it comes back. At the starting point right so what we want to do we want to uh, give our player a warning so when you click flag I, uh, what we want to do is to display a message which should say that um, do not touch the black line and you have only for example let's say you have uh, 50 seconds to finish this game right so let's see how we can do that so to do that uh, we can get a new sprite so paint a new sprite and from there we want to add a text so if I click text I can start writing I can say uh, do not touch any black line and I also want to say um, and so and then I can say um, you have you have only let's say 50 seconds to finish the game okay so this is the text that we want to display let's change the color to red add some marks so we think this um, the text is not big enough you can click outside of this box and you can see that there will be some options and you can see there is a bi-directional arrow and if you drag this down you can see the text becomes bigger okay so this is the text that we want to display I do not touch any black line you have only 50 seconds to finish the game and you can see the text is appearing right so uh, if it's if you think that the text is not in the middle you can move it a little bit up how can we do that so uh, we go to when flag is clicked I would say if you remember one more thing um, if you want to move up that is change of Y. If you're moving up, there is change of positive Y. If you're going down, that's negative Y, right? So I want to move up. So let's say uh, change Y by 10, let's say 20. So when flag is clicked, we can move up by 20. Okay, so it's done. So I don't need that. I used it just to change uh, the position. Now also, you can see that this, the left hand side has some texts, but the right hand side, we have a little bit of text. So we can modify this. So if you want, you can modify it more. So let's say when flag is clicked, Remember, now what we want to do is move the text a little right. So, moving right, that is change of X. So, by default, if we use this block, move 10 steps, it's moving right. So, let's see if it is working or not. So, I see it's moving right, and now it looks good. If I do this, it looks not that good, okay. I can move it a little back using negative 5 
and now see what happens okay now I think it looks good okay and then don't keep this here because every time you start the text will keep moving right so this is the one I want to use so I want to uh, show this text just for let's say for two seconds and then I don't want to see this message again so what I can do when flag is clicked initially I want to show this text right so when flag is clicked show this text I'll show this sprite right show this sprite and then I can say hide this sprite after waiting one second or I can say uh, instead of one I can say 1.5 seconds now let's see if it's working or not so I think it's gone okay so off let's start the game do not touch any black line you have I think it's very fast let's make it uh, three seconds actually do not touch any black line you have 50 seconds to finish the game all right now that means we need to add a time right so how do I add time in our game so to add time we can make a variable we already know how variable works right so let's uh, make a variable the name of the variable is time if you're not sure how variable works you can watch my videos previous videos and then you will understand how variable works so variable name is time so initially what I want when you start the game I want to set the time to zero so I can see it's here if you double click it you have a small box I want to move it here so initially the time is set to zero then what else uh, I want to add I need to change the time how do I change the time so when flag is clicked I want to wait one second and then I want to change time by one so what is happening here this is very important to understand that this block is a forever block so it will keep doing this so what it will keep doing it will wait one second and change the time by one so that means in every one second the timer value will be changed by one it will keep doing this keep doing this okay remember initially we set the time to zero and we want to do one more thing remember that we give the player options that he or she needs to finish the game in 50 seconds so we want to use a block wait until the value of time is what is equal 50 so it will wait until the time is equal to 50 make sure um, you understand what's happening here this is very important you can use this feature in many games so try to understand clearly so now what I'm saying so remember initially the time is set to zero then it's it went inside this variable loop inside the variable loop what is happening it is waiting for one second and changing the time by one okay it will keep doing this until the time is 50 and then we want to stop everything that means everything will be stopped so now let's see what's happening so do not touch any black line you have 50 seconds to finish the game right so you can see the time is working okay this is how the game will work and if you want you can add some more features like you can display a message that after 50 seconds um, time is up you can say that so this is how our game works you can try this game if you have any questions please let me know and next time we will um, show you how an advanced maze game works so that's it for, that's it for today guys and i'll see you next time bye